dear students let us continue the chapter squares and square roots now let us find the square root of the decimals by using division method to find the square root of a decimal number we put bars on the integral part of the number in the usual manner and we have to place the bars on the decimal part on every pair of digits beginning with the first decimal place now let us take the first one 57.76 so you take the number 57.76 Here the integral part is 57 and decimal part is 76. Now in the decimal part there are two digits. Now you can put the bar for 7 and 6 starting from the first digit 7. Now in the integral portion here only one bar you can put as there is only two digits. Now you consider the integral part that is 57. As usual find the nearest smaller perfect square to 57 that you know that 7 7 is a 49. 8 8 is a 64 becomes more. So you can take 7 7 is a 49. Then 17 minus 9 is 8, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now here as usual you double it or add 7 becomes 14. And next we have to take the bar after the decimal point. So you take 7, 6. As you are taking the bars after the decimal point you must put the point in front of 7. So you must put 7 point. Now as usual take 14 and place the digit in front of 14 and multiply that by same digit what you are going to put in front of 14. Here the ending digit is 6. So you must put either 4 or 6 in front of 14. If you put 4 into 4 what you are going to get 4 4 is 16. And 4 4 is 16 plus 1, 17. And 4 1 is 4, 5 is 70 weeks you will get. If you put 6, 6 6 is 36. And 6 4 is 24 plus 3, 27. 6 1 is 6 plus 2, 8 you are going to get. So this is okay. So you take 6 6. 146 into 6 is 876. You got 876 minus 876. You got 0. Therefore, you can write square root of 57.76 equals 7.6. And observe the number of digits after the decimal point in the square number 57.76. There are two digits. In its square root, there is only one digit. Next, you take the next number that is 0 0.7921. Take that second one 0 0.7921 and write that 0 0.7921. And here you make the group of two digits. You must start from the first number from the decimal point 7, 9. Next you take 2, 1. Here in the integral portion 0 is there. So 0 you can take for one group, first group. So 7, 9 in the first group here and 2, 9 is in the second bar, second group. Now you take the 0. You know that 0 0 you can take here and that is you can take 0 or directly you can put point here. 
so it is 0 point no need of writing here because there is no any change in the value now you take 7 9 79 and the nearest perfect square to 79 is 8 8 is a 64 8 8 is a 64 then it is 9 minus 4 is 5 and 7 minus 6 is 1 and you double it or add 8 that becomes 8 plus 8 16 then you take the digits under the next bar that is 2 1 so the number becomes 1521 now here you must put the digit in front of 16 and you multiply that number by the same digit but here you can guess that the ending digit is 1 so you must put 1 or 9 in front of 16 so 161 into 1 and 169 into 9 then 161 into 1 is 161 and 169 into 9 9 9 is a 81 9 9 is a 81 9 6 is a 54 54 plus 8 62 and 9 1 is a 9 9 plus 6 15 you got 1521 so this one you have to take it is 9 169 into 9 169 into 9 the product is 1521 now you subtract you got 0 here therefore you can write square root of 0 0.7921 equals how much 0 0.89 again you observe the digits after the decimal place here in the square number 0 0.7921 there are four digits in its square root there are two digits after the decimal point in the square number there are four digits and in the square root after the decimal point there are two digits next let us take the next one what is that next number 2.7225 2.7225 that is the third one so we write that number 2.7225 then you write the bars here then you make the here you must start from 72 72 under one bar and 25 under one bar here in the integral part only one digit is there so you take the for the bar for that now you take the bar under the integral portion you know that here there is a number 2 2 is not a perfect square take the number which is near to 2 which is a perfect square so you can take 1 1 is a 1 then you subtract 2 minus 1 is 1 here you add 1 1 plus 1 2 you got here take the next group 7 2 and put point because you are taking the bar after the decimal point you are taking the digits under the bar which are after the decimal point so here 172 and here you try to get the nearest number to 172 by taking the digit in front of 2 multiplying that number by same digit so you take here 17 is that means you can take 2 8 into 8 8 8 is a 64 8 2 is a 16 plus 6 to 24 it becomes it is more than 172 then you try for 2 7 2 7 into 7 7 7 is a 14 and here you can't get 2 because again there is one group so here you take the nearest number 7 7 is a 49 7 2 is a 14 14 plus 4 18 it also becomes more now you try for 6 2 6 into 6 6 6 is a 36 6 to the 12 plus 3 5 156 okay so you put 6 6 and 156 then 12 minus 6 6 6 minus 5 1 1 minus 1 0 
here you add 6 here you have taken 6 so you add 6 6 plus 6 12 and you got 32 next you take the next bar that is 25 under the next bar so you got 1625 now you take 32 and put the number in front of 32 and multiply it by same digit and you know that here the ending digit is 5 there is no bars after this so here what to get 5 you must put 5 only 3 to 5 into 5 you do 5 into 5 25 5 2 is a 10 plus 2 12 and 5 3 is a 15 plus 1 16 you got so this is 1625 what is required here you got it so 325 into 5 then it is 1625 then you subtract it 0 therefore you can write square root of 2.7225 equals how much 1.65 here also you observe there are four digits after the decimal point in the perfect square number and in its square root there are two digits number of digits becomes half here then next one next one is 0 0.004489 take the next number fourth one 0 0.0048 what is that number 4489 4489 now you write that number 0 0.004489 now make the bar here you must start from here 00, 0 under one bar 44 4 under one bar and 89 under one bar here there is zero that is for one bar now you know that at there is zero you put zero point here next you take the next group zero zero and you put one zero here then you again here you are going to get zero only next you take 44 and the nearest perfect square to it you know that is 6 6 uh, 36 you can write 6 6 uh, 36 4, 14 minus 6 is 8 0 8 8 9 here you write 6 6 plus 6 12 then you write here the ending digit is 9 means you can write 3 or 7 in front of 12 so 123 into 3 or 127 into 7 then it becomes 3 3 is a 9 12 3 is a 36 it is next 7 7 is a 49 and 7 2 is a 14 plus 4 8 1 7 1 is a 7 plus 1 8 so you got 8 8 9 then the second one is to be considered 127 into 7 you got 889 and you got 0 here therefore what you can write therefore square root of 0 0.004489 here for one group here direct you can take 0 here because the perfect square 0 only you are going to get therefore 0, 0.0 then you write square root of 0 0.004489 is 0 0.067. Again you observe number of digits are after the decimal point are 6. Here the number of digits after the decimal point are 3. Exactly half you are going to get. In this way you got the square root of decimals with the help of the division method.